Beethoven, Vilk, Harper, Seven, Perez, six, Vigneron, five, and Loic Jasmine in the A final leg one. And they're off. And a hesitant start from uh, Volker, not knowing what the car's going to do. And up the inside immediately has come, has come Reinhardt. So Reinhardt's got uh, Cohello. And Reinhardt, suddenly with the Infinity chassis, is, uh, is reborn after moaning about the lack of practice earlier. So, oh, no, straight off has gone Volker there. He just lost the power. And Reinhardt's gone through, and so has Bruno. So that's a very big example of what happens when there's no power. So suddenly we have Reinhardt leading. Volker just lost it all on as he tried to break for the uh, Serpent's head. As he comes in, and it's now Reinhard from Cahello from, uh, let see that one again, we're, we're over Volker. Comes in and just spins it round. Just didn't break at all on the Serpent replay. So they are now, it's a battle is all about second place. As Reinhard now has called out a 1.6 second lead, and it's Cahello from uh, Volker, the white car of Cahello, the blue and the wasp side sting of, of Volker. But Cahello now is putting a bit of power down behind him. It's uh, Alexander Hagberg in fourth and Vladimir Kotovin in fifth. But it's very much a battle for second. You've got to say that the time that time round again, it was slightly quicker from Reinhardt. So Reinhardt's beaten another tenth of a second up. And oh, and Volker's just not enjoying these conditions at all. He's spun right out of there. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if he parks this thing up in a minute. So it's Volker from Cahello. Uh, Sorry, it's uh, Reinhardt from Cahello. Let's drop back to third, which is the green car of Hagberg. He's actually done the first time running his actual proper race colours with the white and the green, not the play rattle can green. He's under pressure from Cotoven. And there's been another accident behind him, which I think may have taken Volker out of getting out. He took out the eight car of uh, David Perez, and he's had enough now, I think. So a couple of cars are already pulling in and saying that's it. But leading still is uh, Mark Reinhardt. And he's gaining every single lap on Cahello. He loves his low grip conditions. And behind him, Hagberg. Behind him, Katova. And you're going to start seeing Volker coming into the frame as well. And also Harper. So Harper, uh, who obviously is British and therefore is only used to low grip conditions and weather. As we are now just two minutes down, three minutes to go almost. But it is Reinhardt. Last time around, 20.4. Cahello, 20.7. Every single lap, Reinhardt is eke eking away. And uh, it's not the first time he's managed to win a leg of a final from a surprise team, but he just had the lead off the loan with the Infinity Chassis. We're now looking at the Hagberg battle with the X-Ray. He's behind him. He's got Katoven on the, on the automatics and Volker with the Yakomo. And behind him is Harper on the Schumacher. So four chassis running around together, slightly making a break in second. As you probably see him coming out as the white car, you see him flashing out the frame of Cahello. And then Volker spins out for the fourth time. And uh, that is really just an example of when the car is set for a certain way and you have no grip, what can you do? So that rain, and I think actually what's happening now is I get the impression that Cahello is just beginning to ease back towards Reinhard with uh, two minutes to go. We're still looking at the third and fourth. This is the closest battle on the field at the moment, which is uh, Hagberg holding off Katoven for third and fourth. But if the um, as Reinhard and Volker has retired from this A1, and we'll be hoping the grip comes way up in the next hour and a half for the next final. Next time, last time round, it's another tenth of the game for Reinhardt. So Reinhardt getting further ahead with a minute 35 to go. So they come round, it's Katoven. Yeah, you need to move forward to the green car. And they are actually now, reverse of what I was saying, I actually believe that Hagberg now is getting a little bit closer to Cahello. In fact, last time round, yeah, he gained two tenths. But uh, the story of this is really the first two or three laps where Reinhard made a great start and leapt into the lead and Volker just couldn't hold it. One just couldn't hold it. So let's move forward one car to the white car of Cahello. With a minute to go, nine, he six, is ten, about two and a half five. seconds behind as he comes into the Montec section. And really, the only thing that's going to prevent him from get, get Cahello a win is if he actually manages to catch up Reinhard. But Reinhard is going to have to make a mistake because he's just looked fantastic. And if you m look now at Cahello as he comes yeah. round the corner, moves forward. Car looks great, but it's too late. And let's move forward to our leader, who's going on the Efra Kink now. And there you have Mark Reinhard, the four-time world champion. Three at this class, once at... Um, 
12th, I think he won the European Championship several times as well. I can't remember the last he won the European, the European Championship. It's a long time ago. He will get a victory lap because he is going to be the only person who's going to clip this last one. Obviously, Corella might just get it. So we have one more lap of the action. Reinhard needs to get this thing uh, over the line. And if he does, he will become the uh, first leg winner. Volker was a big loser in that one. Just The car just wasn't working for him. And... Cross to uh, there we go. Well, well, well. Life in the old dog yet? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I just talked to Ronald. He was on the uh, old tire, so. But the car felt good. I think we were smart just to put the car on the crit because I saw before the first lap on these conditions now is a lot better when you don't make a practice lap. So I could pass him already in the first two laps and uh, oh, in the first lap. So yeah, it was a good start, and now I have two more sets of tires, and uh, let's see if I can if I can do it again. So how by the end of the the, uh, the heat, how close was the grip level to what we were seeing yesterday? I guess it was still a bit off, but not as bad as it looked in the first mains I saw after the rain. But uh, I guess it gets maybe a little bit better, but the wind also kicks in again. So yeah, let's see how it's going to be for the next one. I guess it's going to be similar. Great start, thank you. Thank Cheers, you. Mark. Well done. So uh, another.